The Ludwig LM402, often called the Superphonic. Uh, many claim that this is uh, the most recorded snare drum in history. Uh, some people call it the bottom snare. Uh, Charlie Watts used it, Hal Blaine used it. Uh, very, very popular drum. It, uh, this particular uh, LM402 versus the LM400, uh, six and a half depth versus a five inch depth. Uh, these drums have been made since the 1960s. Uh, the early ones were chrome over brass. Uh, these shells all here are aluminum or lead alloy, uh, Ludwig's proprietary alloy. Both of these no drums that we're gonna do in our snare battle today are newer drums, newer models. Uh, these are both about a year old. Uh, they have identical heads, top and bottom, as far as what came. They're Ludwig Weathermaster mediums on top and Ludwig uh, on the Rezo side that came from the factory. They have factory snares. I have used my drum dial to tension both the top and the bottom heads on both drums, uh, identical. Uh, we're at 90 pounds per square inch on top every lug and at 80 pounds per square inch on the bottom. Both of these drums have factory snares uh, from them. They're identical. The throw-offs and butt plates are P88s and the associated butt plate, identical. What I wanted to do today in the snare battle is the hammered version here. Um, is a kind of a relative newcomer uh, to the superphonic world and I wanted to compare it or have a little battle with the traditional uh, flat or smooth uh, version of the drum and let you see the difference. There's, a, there's also a difference here in the lugs. These are Imperials, these are tube lugs and I just wanted to show what the difference was between the two drums and there is a significant difference. So I'm gonna get my legs far apart here and we're going to see if I can play these a little bit and give you a good sound sample. So there you have it. I hope the recording showed some of the differences between the hammered shell and the regular superphonic. Um, the hammered shell is kind of a new entry or newer entry to the superphonic line. And I have uh, grown to really appreciate this shell. In person, it has less overtones, less ring to it. Um, it doesn't have to be dampened as much, which keeps the snare open in my opinion. And I have found both this and I have a, a five inch version of the hammered shell. I'm reaching for those now more than I do the regular superphonics. And it is, uh, uh, the microphone loves it just as much. 
Um, the, the differences are only a few degrees of separation, but if these drums had any shortcoming or any drawback, especially in live performances, it was the ring or the overtones that came out of the drum. Anyway, I hope this uh, snare battle helped. I hope it uh, showed just a little bit of what the differences are between the two drums, and uh, thanks for watching.